Howdy friendos, Crazy Jason here. I have been tagged. Uh, this is a movie tag. Um, and I was tagged by J.C. Willingham, who is a fellow Spartanburger, a.k.a. someone who lives in the same town as I do. Um, why is that significant? It's significant because uh, this town is pretty much a shithole when it comes to, uh, you know, well, when it comes to just about anything. I'm sorry, I don't mean any of that, and yet I do. But anyway, uh, yes, uh, J.C. Willingham, uh, he resides in the same town. He has the same passion for film, and he has a knowledge uh, of film, and uh, that's very rare in a town like this for uh, to find people like that. Um, that's one of the reasons why I'm I'm doing this, and uh, I'm going to put his link below. And uh, if you guys want to go and check his channel out, like I said, he's knowledgeable about movies. He collects DVDs and Blu-rays. And, uh, as always, tell him Crazy Jason sent you. Um, now, this uh, movie tag thing, which I'm coming kind of late to, um, originated with Film Angel 11. I'm not really familiar with this channel, but I did want to, you know, note that, and I will also put his link uh, in the underballs. So check them out. Now, um, what I'm supposed to do with this movie tag thing is I'm supposed to tag someone else or, you know, a couple of people. I'm going to tag a couple of people here. And I'm also supposed to add a question of my own. Okay, so I'm going to tag John from uh, the Flick Pit channel. And I'm also going to tag my Preston from uh, Magic Hour Movie Man also known as Magic Hour Movie Man. Links also in the underballs. So, uh, these guys I'm going to tag. Um, hope you guys get a chance to uh, answer these questions. Because uh, the, the reason why I'm doing this really is the questions. The questions are just a lot of fun. They're all movie related. And, um, you know, that, that that's really the main reason. I just wanted to answer these questions. But, um... Anyway, blah, 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 crazy. Can you move it along? Okay, what else? Oh, now the question that I am adding to this list, because that's the other thing. You're supposed to add a question to the list of questions, and I've already got, I'm answering 22 questions. The question I'm adding is, um, what's a favorite pre-1980 film and why you love it? So that's my question. Um, so if either John or Preston participate in this, that's my question that you'll be answering along with these other questions. Well, enough talk, enough babbling, in other words. Let's get right into it. Um, question number one. Favorite movie of all time? This is very difficult. Um, I can't really say a favorite movie of all time, but if I had a gun to my head, uh, I would say The Thin Red Line. Uh, favorite scene from that movie. Uh, favorite scene from that movie is when they're taking the hill, you know, uh, they're going up the hill to take the bunker, and um, Captain Staros is on the radio um, with a... Uh, <laughs> It's a really, it's, it's a crazy intense scene, but it's also a, a, a funny, funny scene as well. Um, but, uh, ah, I, see, that's my problem. Now, this is ghetto right here. This, this folks, this is ghetto. I, uh, I bought a printer, going off on a tangent here. Finally bought a new printer, because my old printer broke, you know, and, uh, you know, I got a good deal on a printer, it's a nice printer, but it didn't come with a uh, USB cable, and I thought that was really shitty. I mean, how can you not include a cheap little USB cable? And I don't want to, even at Walmart, these cables are $20, so of course, you know, I'm going to turn to Amazon. Finally came in the mail, but, uh, <clears throat> so I wrote all the questions down, but, uh, you know, I, I didn't... On purpose, I didn't want to really delve into the questions. I didn't really want to think about them because I wanted to be more spontaneous. But in being spontaneous, 
I'm forgetting names. What is the name of the actor, the great actor? I keep wanting to say Nicolas Cage, but that's not correct. Oh, God, what is his name? I do I do the impersonation all the time. What the fuck? Um, anyway, we'll, we'll move on. Maybe we'll come back to it when I remember the name. That's, that's what we'll do here. I'm like a, a 90-year-old mathematics professor. Okay, favorite actors, actresses. Well, that's pretty broad. Um, a little too broad for me. Um, I would have to say... Uh, you know, I'm a Tom Cruise fan, as far as like a movie star type. He's Tom Cruise in every film, but uh, I like him. Uh, Russell Crowe, I'm a big fan of Russell Crowe. Um, you know, actress-wise, I, I like uh, Jennifer Lawrence, Kate Winslet. So, uh, I mean, there's a lot of actors and actresses, and then, you know, there's a lot of deceased actors and actresses um, that I like. Um, oh, uh, Joaquin Phoenix is an actor that's on my radar big time now after having seen The Master this past year, uh, but I'll talk more about that at a later time. Um, most annoying actor and actress. Ooh, yeah. See, it's questions like this that, that really get me interested. Um, <clears throat> right off the top of my head, I'm going to say, um... Renee Zellweger as an actress, and I think uh, J.C. Willingham also mentioned her. I may be wrong on that, but yeah, she's got just got the most annoying face, and I hate to say that about a person. It's very mean, but it's like she, her mouth is all puckered. It's like she's sucking on something sour. It's like a puckered asshole. It's very, you know, it's... I don't know, that face. It's like, why, why do you want to put that on film? And, and another one is... Uh, What's his name? Uh, in Clash of the Titans and um, the Australian actor in Avatar with the skinny little legs. And he, he looks like he's inbred. Um, he, it, there's something wrong about him. You question his intelligence level. Uh, I, I, I don't know why anyone would want to put him on a screen in a low C-grade $5,000 shot in your mama's backyard, zombie horror film, much less the star of tentpole Hollywood films. You know, uh, $100 million, $200 million films. I, it's unfathomable to me. Uh, what, what the fuck is his name? I want to say Tom Wilkinson, but that's not correct because that guy is actually a great actor. Anyway, um, I had another annoying actress in mind, uh, but I can't. It escapes me at the moment. This is the problem when I don't make notes. Uh, moving on. Uh, let's see here. Best director. Again, I can't name just one. <clears throat> Terrence Malick springs to mind, obviously, because of Thin Red Line. Um, also, Badlands. Um, you know, Tree of Life. Um... He, he seems to be getting more and more prolific. Um, he, he's, I think he's working on four films at, at the current, in, in various stages of production and post-production. Um, other favorite directors, um, Martin Scorsese, of course, uh, you know, Spielberg, uh, more 80s, 90s Spielberg, <clears throat> uh, Stanley Kubrick, um, Francois Truffaut, uh, Ingmar Bergman, um, it didn't specify dead or alive. Oh, um, Paul Thomas Anderson, who I think is definitely in the top three great directors working today. I guess who would be under the age of 50. Um, oh, and Woody Allen. Woody Allen is definitely up there. Um, favorite guilty pleasure film, Dirty Dancing. Favorite tearjerker, Cinema Paradiso. Character from the movie that scared you the most. Uh, shit. 
Character from a movie that scared me the most. I don't usually... I, I've got it. Uh, Regan from The Exorcist. Yeah. <clears throat> the Exorcist is probably the scariest movie I've ever seen. And uh, yeah, that, that character, Regan. Yeah, definitely scary. Um, do, 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 movie you love that everyone hates. Uh, I don't know. That that's that's kind of hard. Um, year one. I don't really love that movie, but I, I find it amusing. Uh, also, Your Highness, I thought was hilarious, and it's kind of universally hated. But then those are kind of cheesy, you know, comedies. I think Preston actually would answer this question well, and and I think you know why. Um, movie you hate that everyone loves. Um, I don't know about hate, but a movie that comes to mind that I think is vastly overrated is Heat. And I'm not saying I hate it, so you know, you know, don't jump all over me. But I think Heat has attained a uh, I don't know a place in cinema history and in certain people's minds and a lot of people's minds that I personally don't agree with. So, uh, not saying that I hate the movie, but it's just so vastly overrated. Um, let's see here. Favorite movie duo? The two Corys. I mean, what else could there be, you know? Uh, favorite animated movie? I'm going to say um, Iron Giant. Yeah, Iron Giant. I've never been the biggest fan of animated movies, um, but when I saw that movie, I just fell instantly in love with it. I loved the uh, animation, the story, and the music. Uh, actor, actress, crush. And let's see here. Jennifer Lawrence, but number one right now, Kate Winslet. Um, she's all, I've always had the biggest crush on her. I think she's a fantastic actress. I think she's absolutely gorgeous and beautiful. <clears throat> I don't really go for the, the skinny, thin, skeletal actresses of our time. You know, she's, she's very, you know, she's full-bodied, you know, has a nice figure. Uh, also have a man crush on Russell Crowe, you know, just so you know. Just putting it out there. Totally comfortable with my heterosexuality to be able to say man crush Russell Crowe. And if you need to know why, watch Master and Commander. Okay, let's see here. Favorite movie villain? Hmm. Khan. And I was going to do the uh, William Shatner screaming Khan thing, but I, I just didn't... I, I don't feel like I can pull it off right now. As a matter of fact, I need to get a drink of water. Just thinking about trying to scream like that. Okay, what else? Um, number 15. What movie surprised you the most? Huh. There have been a lot of movies over the years that have surprised me. Um, I've gone in with no expectations or zero expectations, and the movie has really impressed me. Lately, um, I saw this horror movie, VHS. And that surprised me. I really, I am not a fan of these uh, found footage movies. And it really did surprise me. I, I really, there were uh, a few segments that were truly kind of scary and uh, very well done. So I would say that VHS. Uh, number 16, if you could only keep one movie, what would it be? I guess The Thin Red Line. Uh, movie recommendation and for whom? I'm going to say The Wizard of Speed and Time and for whom? Everyone. Anyone who has not seen it. Um, I'll delve into that at a later date. Um, there's not a proper DVD release of it. Um, it's on VHS. You can legally download it online. But at, like I said, I'll get to it uh, at some other point. I'm going to do a... Uh, standalone review plea uh, to folks to uh, if you're a lover of film if you're a, a budding filmmaker or filmmaker and you've never seen the Wizard of Speed and Time 
please check it out. Um, if you could go back in time and marry an actress from back when, um, now old, who would it be? So like a, an actress, I guess you're talking, you know, 30s, 40s, 50s, 60s. For me, hands down, Ingrid Bergman. Just, I always thought she was the most beautiful, I mean, her face, her nose, her eyes, her lips, her forehead, um, her, her hands. I was all, I've always been attracted to her hands. She has long, thin fingers, and she just seemed like a really warm person in that accent. Very sexy. Uh, a close second would be Grace Kelly. Um, so, there we go. Moving on. Um, did I ever come back? How come? I can't think of... It's driving me crazy because I'm trying... I know the favorite scene from The Thin Red Line. Um, but I keep wanting to say Nicolas Cage, and it's not Nicolas Cage. What is it? Uh, it's, uh... Oh, God, I still can't get it. But when... My favorite scene from that film is when they're taking the bunker and uh, they're having the argument back and forth and Captain Starros, you know, stands his ground and he will not send his men on the suicide mission. And uh, God damn it! If, you, if you've seen the film, you know what I'm talking about. Jesus. Damn my brain for breaking down at this juncture. Okay, number 19, one remake you wish had never been made. I can't really say, because uh, they've made so many horrible remakes. Uh, they've made remakes that have been good. They've made remakes that have, in a rare instances, surpassed the original film. Um, but I can't name any one, because I don't let a remake tarnish the original. If I love the original, it, it has no effect on it for me, so I can't say. Uh, about to die, but could only watch one more movie, what would it be? Then Red Line, yes. I, I, I would have to experience that one more time. Uh, favorite movie genre and favorite movie from that genre. Well, this is very difficult. Uh, Post-apocalyptic, um, a boy and his dog. Um, I'm very drawn to thrillers and dark dramas. Uh, movies like um, <clears throat> recently, uh, *Winter's Bone* would be a good example. It's a it's a drama. It's also a thriller um, to a certain extent. Definitely suspenseful. It has that that indie kind of dark edge to it. <clears throat> Boys Don't Cry, very dark drama, um, also uh, Leaving Las Vegas, uh, movies like that. Um, there's a lot of movies like that from the 80s, uh, like At Close Range, which is a film I would recommend uh, if you haven't seen with Sean Penn and Christopher Walken. Um, let's see here. Uh, and also... <sighs> I love these cheesy thrillers. I think I talked about this when I got some of those Blu-rays from the Dollar Tree. Um, but just really bad, horrible, um, cheesy thrillers from the 90s, for some reason I have an affinity for. Which, uh, you know, I also love film noir from the 40s and 50s. Um, but that's, you know, I'm going on and on about it. So... Anyway, uh, what movie, this is the last question by the way, number 22, what movie do you like or dislike that you think should be remade? That's a good question for which I really don't have a good answer for. Um, I would say that the Alien vs. Predator concept I really kind of enjoyed and, and I kind of wish that that had been done. But then again, that wasn't a remake. What the fuck am I talking about? I just, I literally looked over there and saw a stack with Alien vs. Predator and that's what I started talking about. 
I don't know. Um, I, I, I get whoever framed this question, I know what you're going after, especially for a movie that you disliked, but you, but you like the premise. And uh, there are a lot of movies like that where I look at it and I, you know, I say, well, damn, you know, they, I've got it, I've got it, perfect, number one, this is it, this is the answer, The Postman. You guys remember The Postman um, with What's-His-Face, Dances with Wolves? Yeah, um, that, that movie was a big disappointment because I was a huge fan of the novel. Uh, again, a post-apocalyptic novel. And that movie is just so far off from the novel. It's a big disappointment. I still enjoy it because I give the post-apocalyptic, any movie in that genre, I give it a pass. I don't grade it with the same rigorous, you know, detail that I apply to other films. Um... I just enjoy it for what it is, but I wish they would somebody would go back and remake, go back to the book and just make a fantastic film out of that really, really great post-apocalyptic book. Well, uh, that's it. That's all my questions. Again, uh, go down below, check out J.C. Willingham and um, the other links. And uh, it's still driving me crazy that I can't think of one of my favorite actors who was in the Thin Red Line. You guys are going to be saying it over and over again, and I'm going to be kicking myself in the ass. Let me take a moment. Ugh. I know the first name is Nick or Nicholas. That, that just, just makes me sound so fucking ignorant. The fuck? Um... Anyway, I'm gonna. I'm just gonna end it as soon. And as soon as I turn the camera off, the name is gonna come to me. But anyway, guys, thanks for watching. I'm Crazy Jason. Be sure to subscribe if you have enjoyed this video, and I will see you next time.